Well, good afternoon. I'm Lydia Mihalik, Director of the Ohio Development Services Agency. Thank you to the U.S. Chamber Foundation for having me here today to talk about sports in the community. Specifically, I want to talk about how sports can engage older members of our communities. Sports has always been a really big part of my life growing up. I played every sport I could, including three sports in high school and basketball in college at the NCAA Division II level. Now I'm giving back to sports in the community by coaching my daughter's junior high volleyball team. Talk to any number of Ohioans and you'll likely see this passion for sports is shared by many throughout the Buckeye State. Perhaps that's due in part to the fact that we have eight professional sports teams, nine if you include Ohio State, as many do, and over a dozen minor league teams. Think about that for a moment. On any given night, Ohioans or nearby citizens of other states have the opportunity to watch football, baseball, hockey, basketball, and or soccer, some the same day and or in the same city. And people from my generation thought that was only reserved for Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson. Statistically, more than 10% of travel in Ohio is connected to special events, including sporting events, and then the trickle-down impacts to the local eateries, shops, and lodging are significant. While sports can provide significant economic support for a community, they can also provide a rallying point, a common thread, if you will, in a community. Communities big and small in Ohio rally around the Friday night lights to gather for high school football and basketball games. Saturdays in Columbus see hundreds of thousands of people making the pilgrimage to the horseshoe, or Sundays in Cleveland and Cincinnati, barking like dogs or yelling, who day? Across the country, if you encounter someone in Ohio State gear, you'll likely hear an OH shouted out, and it's quickly followed with an IO. Most of all, attending these events can provide all of us with extraordinary experiences and cherished memories. I've been blessed to watch my alma mater win the Division II basketball championship in Springfield, Massachusetts. The Buckeyes win a national football championship in Dallas and experience two Big Ten football championship wins with our entire family in India over the past several years. Sports can be the bridge between generations in a community, both as spectators and participants. We know that the longer we stay active, the better our quality of life. And for our seniors participating in sports, whether it's tennis, golf, or the modern and ever popular pickleball, or even going for a walk can help prevent illness and reduce anxiety and depression. And for some, sports can be a social activity. Before joining Governor DeWine's cabinet, I was mayor of Findlay, Ohio. And as mayor, you receive a variety of requests from the residents in the community, and most center around city services like water service, street improvements, or trash removal. But every once in a while, you get a request that involves athletics and can have a generational and community impact beyond the day-to-day -day operations that keep people healthy and safe. And that will last long after your days in public service. As mayor, I was committed to making Finley a place where people could live, learn, work, and play. And I was fortunate to have two amazing opportunities that came to my attention and was blessed to bring them to fruition. First, Finley was approached to construct a miracle field, a baseball field for all, and especially those who have developmental disabilities. This was a community project from day one that attracted so many donors and volunteers. And when attending Miracle Park and participating as a buddy, a celebrity pitcher, or just watching, you see firsthand how sports extends beyond generations and skill sets to just pure joy. Finley was blessed to host the first ever Miracle League All-Star Game in 2018 and to bring the Miracle League All-Stars from all over our great country to celebrate community. The other great opportunity that we have in Finley was modifying an existing city tennis court into a designated pickleball court. I remember the first time I was called and asked to visit the local 50 North or Agency on Aging Complex to watch and maybe join in a pickleball game. I was shocked when I arrived to see the number of competitors at the makeshift courts that created an activity for our more seasoned residents. The local pickleball club then joined me in a community sport event that we did monthly in a different area of town and always a different sport to help promote health and healthy play for our younger residents. I still remember watching my kids playing against some of Finley's finest, our local police officers, in full uniform to boot. Through AARP, Finley received funding to transform two tennis courts into the center of town near our local community pool and large park area into a pickleball court. Cutting the ribbon with our Finley Pickleball Club is still a memory I hold very dear. I'm also filled with joy each time I drive by, which is nearly a daily occurrence, to see that the parking lot is rarely ever empty or a court open for play. That is the power of community coming through via sports. Thank you for your time today. It was a pleasure to have this opportunity to discuss sports at this Fast Forward Summit. Whatever your sport or interest may be, or opportunities that you have to enjoy sports at any level, especially down to watching your children and grandchildren participate, sports are always there. Which reminds me, I have soccer and baseball tomorrow, volleyball and baseball on Sunday. I hope you enjoy your weekend and find some time to get out and play. 
As a local trainer and family friend in Finley says, life is short, stay fit for it.